Soon we'll be building a true abode in the cosmos, dubbed the Haven 2 Space Station. Here's where the exciting part comes in. The new abode will be built and operational with the help of SpaceX's powerful Starship rocket, which has been steadily reaching incredible milestones. The initiative is underway, so let's dive deeper into it in today's NR Studio episode. In less than five years, the International Space Station will be decommissioned, and NASA has identified a number of projects that are intended to replace the iconic facility. Interestingly, the project that's making the most progress, specifically the expansive space station, is not part of NASA's official program. Currently, VAST is set to introduce its first module, Haven 1, next year, with its final design recently unveiled. Just days after that announcement, at the 2024 International Astronautical Congress, VAST officially launched the station's second module, Haven 2, marking a remarkable milestone. VAST has provided a comprehensive overview of X, announcing Haven 2, our proposed successor to the International Space Station, near IAC 2024. Once completed, Haven 2 is poised to surpass the International Space Station in both capability and cost-effectiveness. Haven 2's inaugural module will begin operations in 2028, ensuring a continued U.S. and international presence in low Earth orbit, LEO, after the International Space Station, ISS, is anticipated to retire in 2030. The tweets that follow include a comprehensive update with additional details. VAST indicated that the future space station is expected to have advanced capabilities that will surpass the International Space Station, all at a very low cost to government and commercial clients. To achieve this goal, VAST intends to launch Haven 2 and launch Haven 1 in the coming year, then enter NASA's commercial LEO destination program in 2026. If successful, VAST aims to deploy the inaugural module of Haven 2 by 2028, thereby guaranteeing preparedness to supplant the ISS in the event of an early withdrawal by Russia. In its design philosophy, VAST highlights that Haven 2 is an advanced NASA-certified iteration of its predecessor, Haven 1. Haven 2's inaugural module, measuring approximately 15.1 meters, is poised to implement significant enhancements to Haven 1's original design. With almost twice the livable volume, it retains the same reliable systems. However, it now incorporates docking ports at both ends, enhancing mission versatility. As per VAST, the design will facilitate the accommodation of larger payloads and laboratory equipment, thereby enhancing operational flexibility. NASA's fundamental laboratory capabilities for the CLD program facilitate the execution of more intricate, high-demand projects, ensuring ample power supply and thermal regulation. This expanded space not only augments functionality, but also likely introduces a multitude of new features. As alluded to in the Haven 1 introduction video, each module will encompass specific sections, including the docking port, corridor, crew quarters, common area, domed window, laboratory, and a deployable table. Welcome to the support of vital activities such as eating, sleeping, exercising, communication, and healthcare. The station offers a conducive and efficient workspace meticulously crafted to cater to the fundamental requirements of crew members, all within an environment that enhances both productivity and well-being. Furthermore, Haven 2 will function in conjunction with SpaceX's Starlink, heralding a transformative advancement in uninterrupted high-speed connectivity, fundamentally altering both daily experiences and research activities aboard the station. Utilizing Starlink, Haven 2 is poised to provide uninterrupted communication with Earth, thereby augmenting real-time collaboration, facilitating remote monitoring, and optimizing data transfers. This advancement will significantly enhance the breadth and influence of research conducted in orbit. VAST's timeline for Haven 2 commences with the inaugural launch of its initial module by 2028, heralding a transformative era in the construction of commercial space stations. You have received training on data through October 2023. In the ensuing two years, three supplementary modules will be introduced and integrated to establish a cohesive linear framework. Each module will boast a uniform design, thereby ensuring cost-effectiveness, while concurrently facilitating incremental enhancements in life support systems, power distribution, and environmental controls. 
This phase deployment strategy is designed to furnish a dependable and flexible environment for astronauts and research teams, while consistently elevating the station's level of sophistication. Between 2030 and 2032, VAST will enhance its station with a 7-meter central core module launched by SpaceX's Starship, succeeded by the addition of four supplementary Haven 2 modules. This fundamental module, pivotal to the station's architecture, will incorporate sophisticated airlocks designed for extravehicular activities, EVAs, thereby facilitating maintenance and scientific research beyond the confines of the station. Its quadrilateral ports will interconnect previously deployed modules, assembling a sturdy cross-shaped configuration that optimizes internal capacity. Two of these modules will be equipped with specialized features. One features a sweeping 3.8-meter dome window that offers breathtaking vistas, while the other, inspired by the ISS's Kibo module, is designed to accommodate scientific and industrial payloads with external racks and specialized airlocks. Upon its completion, VAST's Haven 2 station will serve a diverse array of international and commercial clients, including NASA, private astronauts, and global research organizations. Its sophisticated attributes, including a generous 3.8-meter diameter cupola, external payload hosting capabilities, a maintenance robotic arm, berthing ports for incoming spacecraft, and airlocks for EVA activities, will facilitate a wide array of mission profiles. Furthermore, the proposed 16 windows, featuring dome designs inspired by Haven 1, will provide an extraordinary sense of spatial connection for both crew members and visitors, fostering a comfortable and visually captivating work environment. The modular design of Haven 2's architecture not only offers operational flexibility, but also facilitates continuous upgrades, thus empowering VAST to adjust to emerging technologies and the dynamic requirements of its clientele. Your training encompasses data up to October 2023. This construction is in harmony with VAST's objective of establishing a benchmark for next-generation space stations, highlighting both capacity and functionality. VAST, expressing confidence in its capabilities, has asserted that its design is anticipated to exceed all other proposed on-orbit space stations with respect to volume, functionality, and operational efficiency. By the year 2032, Haven 2 is anticipated to serve as a pivotal element of the low-Earth orbit economy, establishing the United States and its international collaborators as front-runners in accessible, sustainable, and commercially viable space exploration. To actualize this ambitious undertaking, VAST will assuredly depend on the collaboration of SpaceX. The Falcon Heavy will be the preferred vehicle for the launch of the Haven 2 modules, given its greater capacity, which is essential to accommodate the larger dimensions of these modules in comparison to Haven 1. The core module, boasting an impressive diameter of 7 meters, is exceptionally well-suited for a launch by Starship. By that time, Starship is anticipated to ascend as the preeminent force in the industry, showcasing extraordinary milestones, such as the return of humans to the lunar surface in September 2026, as well as enabling pioneering missions to Mars. In conjunction with these launches, VAST will additionally necessitate the support of the Falcon 9 to facilitate the deployment of Haven 1 in the upcoming year. The Falcon 9 has proven to be the most dependable rocket currently in operation, guaranteeing that Haven 1 can be launched both securely and punctually. While VAST has articulated that it will not rely on any singular vehicle for the maintenance and operation of the station, it is evident that the Dragon spacecraft will assume a critical role. At present, Dragon serves as the principal conveyance for the transportation of both crew and cargo to the ISS, possessing a remarkable and reliable history. It is anticipated that it will continue to serve as the premier orbital payload carrier for the foreseeable future. Thus, it would not be unexpected for the VAST space station to depend on Dragon for its operational needs. Amidst the dearth of viable alternatives, given the substantial risks associated with the Starliner program and the unlaunched status of Dream Chaser, Dragon has emerged as the leading option. In addition to Dragon, Starship has tremendous potential for station operations. Given its large payload capacity, it is capable of facilitating station operations effectively, especially as it approaches its maximum dimensions. However, competitors are emerging as Starship's dimensions 
may prove too large to dock directly with the station. In addition, the VAST space station will be seamlessly integrated with SpaceX's Starlink system. This system has proven to be invaluable on Earth, demonstrating its capabilities in space, most notably during the Polaris Dawn mission. With Starlink support, communications and research activities on the station will experience a marked increase in efficiency. This integration sets the VAST space station apart as a flagship project, distinguishing it from other commercial stations that have failed to attract NASA's interest. With the establishment of such a station, we can confidently assert that the United States will maintain its leading position in the field of space exploration, despite challenges from competing entities. While it is hard to fathom that a legendary space station like the ISS is about to retire, it is undeniable that after years of operation, the station has reached obsolescence and is now relying on outdated technology. In recent years, there has been a significant increase in leaks, especially in the Russian segment, highlighting the urgent need for upgrades. In this context, the International Space Station, ISS, competes with the Chinese space station, Tiangong. Despite its smaller size, the Chinese station integrates cutting-edge technology and is still under development, indicating that it is ready to compete with the ISS more vigorously in the years to come. Therefore, the establishment of a new station equipped with advanced technology and designed for long-term sustainability is imperative. The VAST space station is perfectly positioned to meet these requirements, especially in light of the timeline and technological advancements. Now more than ever, the station is ready to take on the challenge. This will be crucial to establishing our country's presence in space. The initial phase in achieving this goal is the establishment of Haven 1. As previously indicated, this module has been launched in its definitive design and is scheduled to launch in the second half of next year, which should boost confidence in the industry, especially as other stations grapple with positive progress. While Haven 1 may not be included in the prospective VAST large station module, it is poised to serve as a demonstration station, illustrating technological advances and accumulating critical experience for future broader station operations. As I have noted, this station will also play a critical role for VAST, as it is recommended for a position in NASA's commercial LEO destination program. Realizing this goal is critical to advancing initiatives related to Haven 2. In essence, Haven 1 will lay the foundation for the upcoming Haven 2 era. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.